11th standard english students now we are going to revise conditional class grammar conditional classes so what is the conditional class the how many types four types with the zero type zero type first type second type and third Okay, what is the zero types? Zero type, universal truth and scientific facts. If we have universal truth and scientific facts, so it called as zero types. For example, if you heat the water, it boils. If you heat the water, if you heat the water, it Boils, boils. It he she she. Third person singular. So yes, verb plus yes. So here, what I want to say now. So there is no tense form changes. There is no change of tense. If you heat the water, heat it. Simple present only. So result part also present level boils. So there is no changes of tense forms here. So conditional class zero types. If you have. Universal truth and scientific facts. If we have it, so that is zero types. So there is no change of sub tense. So next, first and second and third type. This is first type. Probable. What is the probable? So already we have learnt. So we are revising this gram condition class. We are revising. Okay, probable. Result part and condition part. The condition first part first. Condition. The result. Condition result. So what is the condition? If plus subject B one. Otherwise B plus yes verb plus yes. So when you are using third person singular subject, you can use verb plus s. That's the rule. So I have used verb s v one. Okay. Result part. Subject will, are, shall, can, could, and would. So this is the result part. Okay, for example, if he learns well, he can get more marks. If he plays well, plays well, it's because subject is third person singular, so that verb plus yes we want to use. Okay, the first type example is here. If he Plays well. He won't match. He will won't match. If he plays well, he will win the match. Otherwise, he can win the match. He will win the match. If he plays well, he will win the match. So this is probable condition. So okay, one more example for probable. If he run fast, if he runs. Because subject is third person singular, so runs. If he runs fast, he can catch. He will catch. Always he can catch the bus. Catch the bus. So if he runs fast, he can catch the bus. So when simple present the condition part. Result part, future level can catch. I will be in plus V one. Okay, next one, 
new probable condition. Next, we are going to revise new probable. So, how will you change the improbable and how will you identify that? So, first condition part, condition and result part. Result. So, condition if class subject V2. V2 is a second form of go. So, result part subject would plus V1 okay. so V2 is a refers simple past would plus V1 V1 is a base form of verb V1 okay. for example if I if I ran fast if I ran fast, I would, I would win the race. If I ran fast, condition part, result part, subject would plus V1, base form of verb. I would win the race. If I ran fast, I would win the race. So this is. Uh, second type improbable condition. So one more example. If she invited me, if she invited me, I I would come. I would come to a function. I would go that place. If she invited me, I would go that. That's me. If she invited me, I would go. So this is rule. Would the plus V1. She invited V2. She is subject. This is if condition rule. If subject V2 plus condition part, result part would the plus V1. If she invited me, I would go there. If she called me, I would go there. So anyone. So for whatever it is. So rules what we have learned, same rule we can use for probable or improbable. Okay, improbable so one more types. Imaginary situation. This is imaginary, probable, improbable, okay. Imaginary. Imaginary situation. If If I ran here, yeah, butterfly. If I ran a butterfly, I would fly. Okay, I would fly. I would fly in the sky. In the sky. If I ran, so if you want to make the emergency situation, so be from ban only want to use. So this is condition part. If I wear a butterfly, I would fly. So how did you learn improbable for result part? Subject would plus V1. I would fly in the sky. Okay. So this is a imaginary situation. If I wear an elephant, I would carry a weight. For example, imagine if I wear an elephant, I would carry the weight. Okay. So next, unfulfilled condition, last time. Unfulfilled condition.
unfulfilled. Is unfulfilled this condition and the self part. Is subject R plus B. So R plus and result part subject would have plus V3. So subject would plus have V3. So this is an unfulfilled condition. So we can't refill it. Once it happened again, we can't refill it. So that's unfulfilled conditions, condition class. So okay, for example, If I had sung well, if I had sung well, I would have, I would have won the first prize. Won the first prize. If I had a sun, sing, sun, sun. So had sun. What type of things? Past perfect. If I had a sun, well, I would have won the first prize. So this is result part. Would have plus V3. Win, won, won one. Okay. So again, repeat for the uh, Sorry, unfulfilled condition. If subject had a plus V3 past perfect that the condition part and result part subject would have plus third form of verb. So that is result part. So condition class we have learned clearly. I hope you all understood this condition class. Thank you students.